Well, thank you everyone for coming out to the Central Library today. I mean, it's this particular presentation should have taken place two years ago, but better late than never, and I'm glad you are all here to be part of it. So thank you so much. We are going to have a, uh, a, a wonderful documentary for you to look at. We're going to have a uh, panel discussion with the couple of the filmmakers and the city engineer, Mr. Gary Lee Moore. So I know that'll, uh, that'll be fun. And then we're going to open up to a little bit of questions from, from you in the audience uh, at some point. And so we'll try to uh, keep on time and we'll try to be finished at about a quarter to four. There will be copies of this lovely book which will be for sale in the, uh, in the foyer. Uh, this is the archives copy, so you don't touch this one, okay? As a matter of fact, I'm hoping I can get the panel to sign it after we're, uh, we're all done, so it'll be that much more valuable. Okay, uh, for those of you first-timers or those who are not members of the Historical Society, my name is Michael Holland. My day job, I'm the city archivist for the city of LA, the records management division, the city clerk's office. And I'm also the vice president of the City Historical Society. And so I thank you for coming out. This is one of the presentations that we try to do in a normal, in a, uh, normal schedule. We try to do about two or three of these every year. We also do other types of events. We do uh, walking tours. Uh, at the City Archives, where I work, we try to do three or four uh, in-person tours. Uh, on weekends, usually Saturday mornings when the office is closed and we can basically have the run of the place and uh, I promise those are always fun and worthwhile. Uh, usually the people who are going to be society members are going to get the first dibs at uh, being able to sign up for any of those sorts of things and some of them are either very uh, you know, limited in size, but most of them are free. You know, there's those wonderful four-letter words you don't hear much of anymore, but free is the word in this particular case. And so if you're interested, you can follow us on Facebook, you can follow us on Twitter, you can follow us by social media, but the best thing is please join as members because the, our, our uh, revenue is strictly uh, membership-based. We have expanded our ability to do good works to include a set of uh, scholarships to history undergraduate students, and so that is something that we've been very, very proud. We've been able to uh, inaugurate the last couple of years, and hopefully we'll continue to do so and expand. And so we're trying to be as good stewards of future historians as well as what we're doing now, and of course all about preserving the past and saving it for the future, and I'm sure that those kinds of questions will also be part of our panel today, and anything that you wish to speak of from the floor, please feel free to do so at the appropriate time. We'll have a couple of uh, roving microphones out there for you to, um, to take advantage of. All right, so, um, so now that we've, uh, now we've gotten that done, let me go ahead and talk a little bit about the uh, documentary, and we'll let the documentary speak for itself. Uh, of course, the Sixth Street Viaduct is one of those iconic structures that is recognized around the world, even if people don't know exactly where it is, but if they've seen it in a movie or, or a commercial or something like that, they know that it's, you know, it, was, it was iconic. And if they took the time to discover that it was in Los Angeles, then they would discover all of the other wonderful structures and buildings and things that we have in this, uh, in this city. And so the, the, the documentary you're going to see is actually a, a history of how the bridges, all of the bridges came to be, and then specifically more about uh, trying to preserve the Sixth Street Viaduct and in the, eventual, in the eventual story of what has become of it. And hopefully afterwards we'll be able to have a little bit of information about what, uh, you know, what's coming up you know, a sneak preview, if you will, of the, of the new bridge that, uh, that is coming. And so with that, I'm going to uh, give Alan Scher, who, by the way, is our technical guru today, and uh, to, to repeat what Todd always started with, thank you to LAPL for making the Mark Taper Auditorium available to us. Thank you, Alan, for all the technical support. And I know that Kelly Wallace was here. I can't see if she's still in the room, but Kelly Wallace is our uh, contact source here at LAPL in the History and Genealogy Department. 
and we would not be here without uh, without all of that uh, support and backup. We can't going forward. We won't be able to do anything without them either. I just want to make sure they hear that at the top. And so, with that being said, I'm going to get out of the way. We're going to look at the documentary, and then we'll come back with our panel discussion and go on from there. Thank you, everybody.